Hey guys, James Lassie here, Master of Education and Master Financial Planner. I wanted to reach out to everyone with a pandemic update. It's entitled, Get Your Affairs in Order. Get Your Affairs in Order. I wanna provide you seven quick tips for you to get your affairs in order right now. Hey there, as we are adjusting <laughs> as best we can to these uncertain times, there is high, un uh, high unemployment, economic duress. Oh yeah, and on top of that, a global pandemic. Many folks are just trying to deal with this one day at a time. And what should you be doing right now? What should already have been done? had a client miss an appointment and call me the following morning and tell me hey there I'm sorry I missed our scheduled meeting I, I know your time is valuable but I was driving my wife at the hospital she was diagnosed with COVID-19 and she was thrown up and had a really horrible headache and she got admitted to the hospital. And his response was to me is, I don't know what to do right now. Now, I thought about him and then I thought about all of you for one quick moment. That's the situation that many of us are living right now. This virus is affecting people we know. People we know. Some of you guys are sitting down at a table for Thanksgiving or for the holidays and there's going to be an empty chair that you're used to having filled. So what I want to do is, is, is take away the fear. Take this thing out of the fear. I know there's high anxiety right now. That's a huge problem. And, and uh, there's a desperation for good information uh, because people want to make the strongest possible choice. For themselves, their family, their communities. The bills are stacking up. And people are looking for answers. So what I want to do for you guys is provide some, some sound, practical answers that, that's backed up by reportable math and science. Because right now, trust is at an all-time low. Uh, people don't know who to believe, what to do, and where to start. More importantly, if they start, or are they going to finish? So, all that I'm going to give to you is reportable math and science. So, I'm going to give you seven steps, seven practical steps to protect you and your family right now to get your affairs in order. Get your affairs in order. All right, so number one, protect yourself from the coronavirus. You've seen it on the news. Go ahead, wear a mask. It enters your body through your respiratory system. So wear a mask. The virus is also known to live on uh, surfaces that an infected person could have touched or breathed on. So be sure to wash your hands. And in many cases as possible, wear gloves if that makes you even more comfortable. But wash your hands. There's no substitute for washing your hands. And be mindful not to touch your eyes, your nose, or your ears. Also, uh, if you're eating, if you're, you know, you're out to eat or if you're visiting and you're eating, go to another room. Self-isolate yourself, right? Do all those important things, you know, social distancing. It's very important. And I can't express enough that vaccine is on its way. There's several trials right now being prepared. But you have to understand that vaccine will not be readily available to 75% uh, of the, 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 the population until fall 2021. So in the meanwhile, understand you protecting you and your family and your community is most important. Number two, draw up a trust, a trust. Now, they're, they're irrevocable trust and there's revocable trust. But in a trust, you're literally documenting your expenses, your income, your net worth. What all do you own? 
What are you liable for? That needs to be documented now. What are you responsible for? What do you have? Right? Which brings me to number two. Update your will. Update your will. Okay? A will is not a trust. And a trust is not a will. A will is what is to happen after death. A trust documents what's happening now. And if you understand the difference between the two, uh, if you've listened to any of my videos before, you know that the Secure Act of 2020 is in place. So you don't want all of your assets after death going to the government or to the state. So make sure you're updating those documents. Number three, the medical directive. Many folks are going to the hospital and getting admitted, but there's a delay in care because there's no medical director. There's nothing telling the doctors and the medical staff what to do in the event of you being in a vegetative state. What happens if your heart starts pumping? I know it's dismal, nobody wants to talk about it. But those things need to be outlined. What is your family fighting for? What are your wishes medically? And then power of attorney. Who's to act on your behalf when you're incapable of acting on your own behalf? Who are you gonna pass that torch off to? Who's gonna speak on your behalf? Number six, then I can't stress this enough. Update your life insurance and disability insurance. Like never before, your life insurance and disability insurance. It's not a sales pitch, folks. This is real life. Because one, people are actually dying of COVID-19. But more importantly, those who are getting COVID-19 and living through it, many folks are having ongoing symptoms as we speak. Ongoing respiratory issues. Folks can't run up the stairs like they used to. Right? You guys, please protect yourselves and your families. And number seven, if you made it to the end of this video, then you have some beliefs that I believe in. Start loving yourself more. Start loving your, your, your spouse and your kids. Make amends. And start clinging hard to your faith. Do those things. Do all seven steps right now. Get your affairs in order. Because doing just that simple step, that simple step. I uh, had a nurse practitioner share with me that those folks that have their items in order have less stress doing treatment. They have less anxiety doing treatment. So I wanted to provide this as a resource to you guys. If, if this was meaningful to you, if it makes sense, if it's very practical and you think it's doable, please like and, and share this video, right? And if there's any questions, definitely put those in the comment below. We want to be a resource to you folks, right? Well, look, I'm James Laster, Master of Education and Master Financial Planner. God bless to you all. Be safe and be well. Take care.